So this is kind of breaking news. You remember when Bernie Sanders said he, he came to New York, he was running for, for president in 2016 against Hillary Clinton, he came to New York, and he was running on a campaign of uh, $15 minimum wage and, and universal health care. You remember all that? Oh, you remember how good we felt about that? And then when he came through, uh, Hillary Clinton and Mario Cuomo were standing on the steps at at, you know, up at Governor Hall in Albany, 400 miles away from the city. And they were, and Hillary Clinton took old Bernie Sanders steam for, for, for the $15 minimum wage idea. Remember that? You know how fucking funny that was? Oh shit. So, so Cuomo, right? Cuomo was right there. He sided with it. No problem. Hey, look. It's politics. Look, it's politics. It's not about fucking, come on, man. Come on, get real, man. Come on. All right, so Cynthia Nixon, right? This is New York politics, but it, it has it has national ramifications because it's New York, right? So Cynthia Nixon, the lovely Cynthia Nixon, we know her from Sex in the City fame, right? She played Miranda. Uh, she played a lawyer. Right? I don't know shit about TV, right? So I don't know. All I know is I've heard, you know... I've heard of the show Sex in the City. I can't say that I've ever actually watched it. So, but anyway, here's a here's a celebrity, right? Well, who is she? She's uh, she's uh, a New Yorker. We like that. She rides the subway. She's for public schools. She's a lesbian. She's Jewish. She has three kids, right? She's she's articulate. Can a celebrity come into New York? A national celebrity like that? A New Yorker? And run and and win the vote of the people. Of course, of course. Can she win the governorship? Ain't gonna happen. Why? It's because it's corrupt. It's totally the system is the, the, the elections are totally rigged. Now, maybe if she addressed that, right? Address the corruption, right? Address the the corruption. What does she stand for? Let's find out. So. She says she won't take corporate money. Wow. That's the kiss of death in New York. Okay? Well, let's see what she says. She won't take corporate money. She says that, this is a great statistic, it, not only is the income and wealth inequality in America insane, but listen to it in New York. Right? The top 1% of New Yorkers, top 1% of New Yorkers earn 45 times more than the remaining 99%. <laughs> it's fucking staggering numbers. All throughout New York State. Not the city, you know, because CNN is situated in, you know, in, uh, in, in Midtown Manhattan, 59th Street, Columbus Circle. And when you look out the window, you see the wealth, right? But you don't see the poverty in New York State. Up in, you know, places like, like Syracuse and and uh, Rochester, and Buffalo, and Albany, and all the little places throughout New York State that are, you know, decimated by this income and wealth and inequality. So here's Cynthia Nixon. This is a great quote. I love this. Because I, li- I like her, right? She says, if Washington is a swamp, then Albany is a cesspool. <laughs> right? There's some fighting words right there, right? If Albany is a swamp, if if Washington is a swamp, Albany, that's the capital of New York, then Albany is a cesspool. She called Albany a shithole. Ooh. Ooh, that's foul, right? But look. Look. The kiss of death, you know know where you are. When I when I used to play music, right? There was actually a sign in, in when you played CBGBs, right, downtown Manhattan, right? There was a sign on the wall that said, Out of towners, remember where you are. <laughs> right? Right? That was like that was like a warning shot to any out of town people that this is New York, right? And for for Cynthia Nixon to come in and she has all the right talking points. Income and wealth inequality, but again, she's leaning on social issues. A lot of a lot of her stuff is like, you know, women's rights and gay rights and you know minority rights. Oh shit, that's not. It's look, it's an economic fucking problem. 
Excuse me. I'm going to start giving uh, profanity alerts again because it's not right, right? But anyway, Cynthia, it's an economic problem. It's not a social problem. You don't fix income and wealth inequality. Uh, uh, the, the statistic, your own statistic, by addressing, by putting social issues first, right? Now, how could she win, right? The other thing is the Post is reporting that the Post is kind of like, you know, fake. I, I, I love the Post. You know, I love the Post. But it's kind of like they, they lean in any direction. It's sensationalist, right? So they'll lean in any direction they can. The Post said um, that she, the Post is, is reporting that that she's allowed to, that she might challenge on the working families party. How you doing, man? Right? Working families party, right? See, in New York, there's not just the Democratic Party, but the Working Families Party. And she's threatening, allegedly threatening to run on the Working Families Party if she doesn't get the Democratic nomination. Now, that that's the kiss of death for the Democrats, right? That's the kiss of death because that that then they'll they'll argue, oh, she looks, she's a spoiler. Oh, look, she's a spoiler. You know, spoiler, right? Because what happens is if she runs... The Democratic Party gets split, and then the Republicans have a shot at taking the gubernatorial seat. Right? That's what that's what the Post wants to see. That's why they're promoting this notion. But, but on the record, she said, and I quote, "I'm not prepared to say regarding running on the Working Family Party." Right. So right there, right there is there is not a shot in hell of her getting the Democratic nomination. It ain't going to happen, right? The corporations will line up and 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 destroy her, right? Right? This is New York. This is New York, right? And what you'll see is, if she does run as a Democrat, I'll make a prediction. This is what will happen, right? She'll run as a Democrat. She'll get... she'll Because the people are going to be behind her. She's a celebrity. And she's saying all the right things. So she'll... They'll, they'll, they'll paint the tape and say... You know, she won 42% of the vote. And Cuomo won 58%. Oh, look. Yeah, see, she was good. She's good, right? We love her. Right? Now, now get behind us. Now, fall in line. Right? That's what they'll try to do. Right? That's exactly how it'll play out. And then she'll, she'll probably just bow out. Right? She'll bow out. And, and uh, that'll be the end of that. Right? Now... If she runs it on the worker working families party, can she win? No, because it's the same people counting the votes. She'll get she'll get the knife stuck in her back in New York City, right? Because that's always the way New York goes. See, there's two New Yorks. There's New York City and then there's New York State, right? And you'll see because but the, most of the people, the, the the mass of the population lives in New York City. So what you'll see is the she'll win. Cuomo will, she she could win like Bernie Sanders won in upstate New York because maybe that's a little harder to rig. Maybe maybe there's a little bit more integrity. But in New York City, not a shot in hell, right? They're going to paint that tape, and it'll be a lopsided victory in favor of Cuomo, and he'll be the governor, and that's the end of it, right? But it's an interesting race. It's an interesting race to to watch, and Miss Cynthia Nixon. If you really want to win, let me give you a secret, right? You have to, you have to address the election fraud, right? Right? Yeah, income and wealth inequality. Yeah, but if you can't, if you can't, if you run a campaign and you're, you know, making people feel good about themselves, public schools and, and you know, lesbians and everybody's happy, everybody's, you know, social issues are wonderful, you know. And that's, that's good to talk about, but that's not the problem. The problem is an economic problem. And the reason why it stays the way it does is because the elections are rigged and held in place by corrupt politicians like Mario Cuomo, like Hillary Clinton, like Chuck Schumer, like Gillibrand, like, like Anthony Weiner. You're in New York. Out of town, there's nowhere you are. Right? Nowhere you are. Courts, good luck. Good luck challenging that. They'll take your ballots. Good luck challenging the election if you lose. 
They'll take your bowels and throw in the fucking garbage. Right? But anyway, it's a it's an interesting it's an interesting race to watch. It's a valid uh, it's a valid and it's a noble effort. My name is Marcus Conti, I'm an investigative journalist, a YouTube blogger. Peace out.